a.m. What if I have to done it? I was just going to find out if you'd get to do something for me yesterday. All right. I'll call about later. All right. Message erased. End of messages. Main menu. To send a message, press 2. To change your personal options, press 3. Hi guys, so this is Get Ready With Me, reality, um, reality, get ready with me, another one, so I'm using, I'm priming my grits, I'm priming my face, and I'm going to apply my L. Concealer over my entire face. And I'm going to set up my mirror so I can see what I'm doing right here in the corner. And that was my aunt calling me from Jamaica. Pretty cool. I haven't told them that I do YouTube and that they can look me up online. Whenever they miss me, they can see my videos and look me up online. I haven't told them that as yet. So. I'm just telling them. My aunts are very different from my mom. Like, anything I do, they like. My mom is like, I have her. Like, she's so boring. <laughs> like, I would do this. I like, look, mom. She's like, so? <laughs> look, I can walk on one hand. So? Look, I can ride a unicycle. So? Look, I can skateboard with one leg. So? <laughs> so uninteresting. My dad, he likes when I can do stuff like this would amaze him. Like, he wouldn't think that I would be into makeup. Like, for him, I'm just some heavy core business personnel person. But I can make the most amount of money. <laughs> he wouldn't think that I'd be this good with makeup. Quite frankly, he doesn't like it either. He was very upset the other day. Why do you see me with so much makeup on? My lips are big, so I love that. I can't wait to get them injected. So I used my Apricot Beige Out Tone Correcting Concealer. And now I'm just going to blend it in. To give me that even coverage I'm looking for. I don't know. Let, leave in the comments below. Let me know. Is your dad like that? Does your dad like, like you to know financially stability, stabi stability things rather than beauty and stuff that they find to be non-important? Are they supportive of you on your YouTube channel? So I'm using my Maybelline Dream, my Dream Maybelline BB Cream. And like I told you guys, this cream is absolutely amazing. It holds up all day. So that's enough. You don't, a little bit goes a long way with this BB Cream. Most of all Maybelline products I found a little bit goes a long way. 
I it can provide you with full coverage. Okay, now I'm going to tap off the excess with a paper, with a toilet tissue. This is Charmin, so it's really soft and it will soak up more versus the um, blotting wipes that they sell. Because blotting wipes are really expensive. So if you go to buy blotting wipes, especially the Stilla and all those stuff, when I went to see them, they were like $18, $36. $48 for blotting wipes, those name brands, those high-end name brands for blotting wipes. So I'm like, I always got to have tissue in my house because I'm using the bathroom. I'm going to use that and instead of buying the blotting wipes, and plus the blotting wipes, I I'm sure I could find one that would get off the amount of makeup I wanted to get off, but I just refuse to pay that price. I'm not going to say. Um, I do apologize for saying that in my previous videos about blotting wipes, I wouldn't find the one I wanted to take on to take out the amount of coverage, even if I had to use multiple body wipes, I'm sure I would find a body wipe. So I do apologize for that comment because eventually it will get the job done. Because I have used body wipes in the past, I don't want to like put down body wipes to each his own. If you like using body wipes then use them i just feel like it doesn't fit in my budget right now to be buying blotting wipes because i would have to use so much versus using four squares of a toilet tissue a toilet tissue which is also expensive but it's something i already have so it's almost like a diy do it yourself because i'm not good with acronyms either so i'm like diy g r w m what does that mean so I will tell you guys what I'm saying outside of the acronyms. Uh, if you don't know what DIY means, it's DIY do it yourself. G R W M is great review worth making. Um, there's another one, there's another acronym that YouTubers use, and I still don't know the meaning of it, but I figure it looks like it's a video I want to watch. <laughs> so this is my highlighting, guys. Like, I'm, I've been a mom forever. I told you guys. So, I didn't keep up with all my childhood. So, right now, I am getting, keeping up because there's a lot of offers on the table. And the more I keep up, the more and more offers I'm receiving as far as job, jobs, um, lifestyle, and stuff like that. So, I thought it was ridiculous. And, you could be who you want to be, but honestly, it's been beneficial for me to try to learn the urban lifestyle of a teen or of a young adult, because I'm a young adult. It's been more beneficial for me versus just being a mom, playing a mom role. Because just being a mom, playing a mom role, you're expected to take everything, and when you're younger you have some support system that just comes out of nowhere and i'm like i think that that would be always there but it's not when you're when you dress the way society dresses and all that stuff it comes around so i'm going to use my nyx eyebrow cake powder and contour my face because the color is dark enough i'm going to use the lightest one which this is the dark brown 
EC02 dark brown palette. And I'm going to grab my eyeshadow brush. I'm going to contour with this color. And right now, I'm looking for anything that's going to make my life a little bit easier because God said he gave us the tools. So we have to go and look for what we need. It's like if there's fruit in a garden, you have to know which one is not poisonous that you could eat and which one is poisonous that you can't eat. He gave us the tools. He ain't going to give us everything in our hand, but he gave us the tools, which was sense, um, sense, he, um, feel, touch, senses, and um, yeah, he gave us the tools. So now I'm just blending this color out. This is my contour, by the way. I forgot to put on my neck. Can't forget that now. So now that I've blended out my contour. I am going to do my eyebrows with the same eyebrow cake. So I'm first going to brush and comb them with my Prevail Eyebrow Groomer, Eye Groomer. And I'm going to apply it with my Prevail Brow and Eyeliner. And I'm using the brow side. Um, this comes with a mini applicator is just to me this is much easier i can be i can see my eyebrows better with this eyebrow applicator i don't have to be close up but if i was using something smaller it probably would have been stopping my vision and probably take me oh once i learned my eyebrows really well it became easier to do them without seeing them. Like I can prime them and just do them without seeing them. Because I remember I was living in a mahogany neighborhood where these men did not believe that women deserve equal rights. And I was not gonna stop being feminine. And every day I put on my mini skirts and my thong slippers, you guys know the thong slippers is the one with the thing in between your toes. And I went outside. Now, for you to come up to a woman in thong slippers and a frilly t-shirt and a mini skirt, you know you're definitely the antagonist. You know? She's not going to walk up to you in her mini skirt. She probably doesn't even have underwear on. So, these are all the things that you have to learn about this lifestyle so that when it goes down and it happens you're definitely in the clear because you have some men that they don't like women so much they just want a woman to batter and to beat up and you could be that woman if you give them the opportunity
I'm good with my eyebrows. Pretty fast. Um, I'm just gonna apply the the wax to set them. Like um, one way you can know if you live in a mahogany neighborhood. When you go to the supermarket and you're carrying the groceries, does the groceries feel true to weight or do they feel lighter? You definitely know if you're living in a mahogany neighborhood. Those groceries feel just as heavy as they are. You know you're living in a mahogany neighborhood. Because most places you go, you see a woman carrying heavy groceries. You don't walk up to her and tell her your name and introduce yourself. You help her automatically. And you never know who that person was. You never know their name. But when you get to your door, you go, thank you very much for your help. And you close your door and they uh, they stay on the outside. They bring them to your to the crevice of your door. They put them on the inside, help you put them on the inside, and they leave. There's no, my name is John, and can I have your number? And next time you need help, there's none of that. <laughs> you know, that's another form of mahogany. Wanting to have sex with you to break down your walls. That wasn't a favor. That was a, a scheme. So now I'm going to use my 740 Bikini Contest bronzer. And I'm going to bronze my face. And what this does is I give my face some warmth. Well, my face already... On top of my makeup, it allows my face to have some warmth and bring it comfort zone, you know, on top of my makeup because I how your natural face looks. Your natural face looks warm, comforting, and inviting. You don't look like a monster, so this shapes your face as well. As you can see, I do this in circular motion, and I do it to the outers of my face versus the inners of my face, so you guys can see what I'm doing. It's to the top of my forehead, the outers of my face, down my cheekbone where I apply my blush, outers of my forehead, the outers of my nose, and then blend it. The underneath my chin, and down my neck. Now I'm going to be illuminating, which I'm using my, that was by NYC, by the way, no, Wet and Wild, 740 Bikini Contest. And this is, I'm going to illuminate my face, then I'm going to apply blush. So you apply your illuminator to the highest point of the cheeks. Sometimes you're going for a bright illuminated look, which I'm going for since I'm doing a natural eyeshadow and natural everything else. It's crazy because my eyebrows, they just, like, I thought this color would be dark, so I also purchased the light brown palette, but it's not dark at all. It just looks so natural because my eyebrows are black. So I used two browns, and it just looks natural. Um, you can see it a little more clearer, but it just, I completely like just fades out and looks so natural. Um, also, if you're looking for another illuminator, this is another cho choice. This is my number seven skin illuminator, and it's really good. And it's by Boots, B-O-O-T-S. So if you're interested in a other form of illuminator, this is one, and it's number seven. And they do the both the same thing. Just that this is a liquid, so then you can cover up with this to set it. So pretty cool. Um my blush I'm using is my elf blush. And it comes in a little tube. And this is how it looks. 
it says elf shimmering face whip you can use it on your lips it's it's like um you can use it anywhere the color has rubbed off so i can't tell you guys oh it this is persimmon per persium and that's my elf so all you have to do is put a little bit on the back of your hand and it's optional you can use it for your eyeshadow i usually use it for like all three um I'm gonna make sure you wipe off the back of your hand as well. Yeah, my tissue fell on the floor. So make sure you wipe off whatever makeup is on the back of your hand. Then apply the amount you want. So I'm gonna use this as an eyeshadow and a blush. Since it is a two in one. Well, it's more than a tool, and you can use it as many places as you choose. Um, I'm going to prime my eyelids. And I'm using my e.l.f. eyelid primer in the color Sheer. Seven five zero one T share. So I'm just running my hands. And priming your eyelid allows the application of your makeup to last longer. So if you happen to wet your face or like in New York it's snowing. I'm not worried about my makeup going anywhere. Because I prime my face. Um, so I'm gonna apply this on the base of my eyes. Isn't it pretty, guys? So, this is like a cream eye, it works out like a cream eyeshadow. And I'm applying it to the base of my eyes. So once I've got that done, I'm going to use my napkin and clean up any areas that I don't want it in. Then I'm going to use my dual ended brush from H&M and apply it as a blush. And I'm working it in a circular motion as you guys can see. This is such a pretty blush, guys. I think I need some more. A little bit goes a long way with this blush. That's why I like it a lot. And you can always just set it with your translucent powder. You want to wait for it to dry on your eyelids. If you don't blend it out, you want to wait for it to dry. Um, And it's like one, two, three, done. So I really like it. And we just pat it on the eyelid. And I'm finishing up on the chase. I'm just going to put a little bit more. And you want to apply an apple amount because you want to show the prettiness of this color. And it's such a pretty pink color. So you want to like hold your eye down. Or turn your eye. Not saying that it's going to mess up, but you want the fullness of the pretty, pretty baby pink look, you know? You don't want to lose out on any of the pigments or anything like that. It's so pretty. So 
So now that that's done, you want to highlight your brow bone. I'm highlighting my brow bone using my Dream Catchers palette in the color DCP03 Stormy Skies. And I'm just going to grab my eyeshadow brush. Well, I'm grabbing my highlighter brush. This is what I use for highlighting. And I'm just going to grab this white right here and apply it directly underneath my brow. Underneath my brow bone. So I'm going to do the same thing on the left eye. I'm still using this white. So I am in my spring semester. This is spring 2015. So I decided to use it, do a spring look. Easter is right around the corner. Some of us only make it to church on Easter Sunday because when we go there any other time is so hectic, so packed, nowhere to sit. And you're just like, if I make it one day, if I praise God all three weeks, I'm going to grab this shimmer highlight color and I'm going to put it at the high points in my eyebrow only. And do the same thing on the other side. Just where your arch is, that's where I'm applying it only. Then I'm going to grab this peach color and put it on top of where I just put that shimmer color. The highest point on my eyebrows as well. This peach color. Now I'm grabbing my transition color, which is this new brown, which matches my complexion. And I'm going to apply it underneath where I apply my white color. I'm just pulling it down to meet the edge of the pink eyeshadow. And I'm just going to blend it with my brush. Blend it in. I'm blending the white with the brown and the pink. With the brown so that there's no harsh lines. I'm doing that by working my brush in a circular motion. And I'm done with the eyes. Now I'm going to line my eyes. Using this e.l.f. Shimmering Eye Pencil from e.l.f. And this is another pencil that I got this size. I didn't use it down to the size, guys. I'm not guilty. I just sharpened it a little bit to give it a little more edge. Then 
and then put the top on to give it a little more um, length. And I'm going to hold the corner of my eye in a line. My eyelid. And the same thing I did on the left hand side, I'm gonna do on the right hand side. And I'm just going in my eyelid. So now I'm gonna grab my white because this is a bright eye color. Look, and I'm gonna line my white eyeliner. And I'm going to use it to line my bottom. And I'm just going to hold the carbon. I'm not going to like this. Put it in the outer corner. And then what I did to the right hand side, I'm going to do to the left hand side. So I hold the corner. As I told you guys, I don't line the inside of my eye. I line as close. as I can get, simply because I'm scared of my eyes. I forgot to spray and sanitize these. Um, so I um, just get as close as I can get, when, especially when it comes to the eyes. You gotta be very careful with your eyes. You only get one one pair of eyes, and there's certain stuff that they can't replace in your eyes, no matter how advanced technology is. So, there's certain stuff that part of the eyes they can replace. And there's certain part of the eyes that they can't replace as yet. I'm pretty sure technology is going to advance some more. So I, what I do is I curl my bottom eyelashes and my top eyelashes at one time. By bringing the eyelash curler as close to the base of my eye as I can get it. Well, because this is a liquid, um, it tends to transfer everywhere. So I had to spray my brush and wipe it off. So now I am going to set this baby pink blush with my MAC translucent powder, and then I'm going to spray my fix plus spray so that's the end of this look guys i hope you didn't i hope you enjoy this makeup look and then i'm gonna apply lipstick so i hope you guys enjoy this makeup look
Mm -hmm. You blast without do the same. <laughs>